Hey guys, it's Bible Johnny Tech Review and I hope you guys are doing well. So for the past month or so, I've been using this uh, digital picture frame from a company called Allure Tech. So they make a few of these picture frames. Uh, they sell them at Best Buy uh, and a few other places. And uh, this is one of the nail one which I really like. So this one here is one of the smart displays uh, picture frame. And the way this one works is that it actually runs an Android OS. Um, after playing around with it for a little bit, it comes with basically just a launcher here, which is the main screen. And then with that, you have a pretty sleek interface. You have a nice, uh, simple picture frame. Uh, it is a little bit glossy, so uh, you do get some fingerprint on it. Unfortunately, if you touch it a lot, it is a touch screen. I believe this panel here is like a 1270 by 800 um, resolution. So that's kind of give you an idea of the resolution. It is a pretty nice, simple interface. Uh, in the back, you do have some um, button that you can navigate, but of course it's touch screen, so you don't have to do that. There is uh, support for SD card. A memory card and also a micro SD for power I believe and then here you have a headphone jack uh, which I don't know what you will use for I guess you can output sound to a speaker or something like that if you want to do that so it also come with a little stand that you can screw in this little hole here and put it on the table if you want to lay it on the table but uh, it comes with some mounting holes so you can hang it on the wall just like this it's pretty nice so it's a pretty slick little unit as you can see here so uh, first I want to kind of talk about the operation of this unit. It takes roughly about 20 seconds to boot this unit up from a dead star. So when it turn on, uh, the first thing it would do is uh, if the first time you use it, it will ask you to do a kind of like a setup with Wi-Fi and everything like that. But when you have the setup, uh, when you turn it up, turn it back on, it will go to standby mode and come right back on and resume whatever it was doing last. So again, as I mentioned earlier, it runs Android. I'm not sure which version it is kind of really customized version of Android. Uh, you can hear that click click that's the android sound you can also see, kind of see the volume control when you press it you see kind of like an android volume control you look like an android launcher and then these are the only available app uh, you're not allowed to install anything else and uh, there's some setting but that's basically about it the navigation is pretty fluid and pretty fast i've had using it running for about two weeks at work during that time it's set to run from 8 a.m in the morning to about 6 p.m and every day it just come on and goes off so this is one of the main screen that you can see when the lower tech unit power on uh, this is kind of like the home screen and here you can see the Wi-Fi setting is set to on uh, you can also see here this is where you can enter the album um, this is just a sample pictures it doesn't actually show the picture of your album now which is kind of bothersome it's actually just a launcher so if you click on it it will launch the photo album app which is currently resumed to the last thing that was shown here so here you can see you can tap on it swipe to change the various different pictures just like that uh, I have the bubble thing here and you can press home here to go home uh, there's also a physical button in the back that you can also use to do that again this is the launcher screen you can go to music to access your music videos setting so up here you have the weather which you can see right now the local weather and then right now you can also have uh, the calendar just simple calendar like that so let's just go to setting and see most of the unit here you can see is some of the information currently on the Wi-Fi you can see the well various different Wi-Fi setting if we go to device info, we can see here we can download the apps. You can install this app here. It's on iOS or Android. And with that app, you can actually beam pictures and videos to the cloud app. PC control here. Uh, here you can uh, also set up this as an FTP server and then access it. Uh, drop file now, remove file now. Works pretty well. It's an album setting here, which gives you a little more detail. Here you can see some of the setting. Uh, you can see it's pretty smooth setup. You have here photo optimization. It will try to display that in full screen by cropping the image, uh, slideshow, some transition, some music background. You can set the music to be either internal or you can use the memory card. So here for slideshow mode, you can have random or have it in order. For animation, here you go. You can pick the various different animation. I just leave it in random. Uh, there's the interval. Interval is interesting because you can set it here, for example, from 5 seconds to 2 minutes. I do wish there is a customizable option where you can set a picture for maybe like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Again, it's a smart picture frame, so I don't know why we're limited to this option, but that's all you have there. And then keep the screen awake. Here's some option. You can see here automatically power on and off. I set it to go off at 6 p.m. at work and at 8 a.m. in the morning it wake up. There is the available input uh, for memory inside there internally. Display, you can see. Uh, set for smart color uh, you can also adjust brightness i usually leave in the middle this little suspended ball right here uh, is what i use to be able to go home real fast without pressing the button in the back of the device uh, one thing that this unit lack is actually a motion sensor where it can automatically detect when someone is nearby and and then you know turn on and then and when there's no one that will go up some of the more dumb unit has that but this smart unit actually doesn't have a feature so i checked the website they have an arsenal of various different versions, but this version here is the one that doesn't have it. So speaking of the cloud option, there is a cloud photos right here. 
that you can boot uh, pictures from your phone. Uh, you can upload it from your iOS or Android device. You can just go ahead and upload to the a special website. You have to make a little username and then it kind of gives you a small uh, cloud storage space there where you can boot a few gigs of pictures in there and then it will show up here. So you stream up the device. It actually downloads those pictures here to locally so it doesn't automatically stream all the time, which is kind of nice. And as far as the quality, I want to come a little bit closer here. And you can see as far as the quality you can come see here uh, it's a pretty nice quality uh, the picture the panel here is an IPS panel and you can see here viewing angle is quite good on it uh, it's only on the really off axis that you can kind of see uh, you know has some uh, reflection and then some kind of loss of light but in general if you're just looking at it walking by it it's gonna look pretty good uh, so it's not the best IPS panel but it's pretty good so those are some of the good thing about this unit it works pretty well it's fast uh, the navigation is pretty easy using the touchscreen panel, so that I really like. So now here are some of the bad cons. So this is one of it right here. Uh, I am actually connecting it to a power block here as you can see. That's power my light. This power cable is only about 4 feet long. It is a proprietary cable that you plug onto the side here. So I do wish that they use just standard USB cable or something like that. Uh, you can still try to use the mini USB port here uh, for power, but uh, it doesn't come with a long USB cable or a, power, a long power cable for all that matters. If you're trying to mount this on the wall, that might be a problem, so you might want to use a longer cable. But uh, the proprietary cable is pretty short. I wish it was like 10 feet or something like that, so you can run it and hide it on the wall. So one of the things that I mentioned earlier was actually the motion sensor. I do wish that this unit, for it being so smart, would have a viewing motion sensor. Uh, I think they have another version that was a little bit smaller that has that option and then they also have kind of like the non-Wi-Fi version that also have that option but this version here particularly I'm using does not have that option the website has a lot of different uh, options I'll leave a link in the description down if you guys want to take a look and try the, the various other options that they have and you can kind of see so one of the uh, most annoying features on this unit that I wish uh, was fixed is actually the resuming functionality so when the unit go to sleep and come back the next time uh, it will work perfectly fine it will resume wherever it was last However, if you lose power or let's say you disconnect and turn it back on, uh, then uh, what happens is the unit automatically default to this home screen here. It will go to this uh, screen here, basically this uh, cloud screen photo. It already defaulted there and there's no option to change it. And if you don't have any cloud photo, it will not automatically resume. Even if you stuck your screen for a long time, it won't automatically uh, go back and uh, you know play some photos. Uh, finally, knowing that this unit is an Android device, I do wish that uh, they have allow you to add other apps. Um, you know, it would be nice to play like Spotify, uh, you know, TuneIn, that kind of stuff. A few small apps into the speaker is pretty small. It'd still be nice to have the functionality. It looked like the unit was powerful enough to play some of those uh, you know apps. So I, even if they didn't allow you to have the full Google. Uh, Play uh, service and the Google Play Store. They should at least give you more option for some more apps. Uh, but other than that, for 100 bucks, it's a pretty nice unit and it has a lot of functionality that works pretty well. So I would like to uh, say thank you to Allure Tech for sending this unit out for me to review. I will leave a link in the description box down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. Um, also, uh, I teamed up with Allure Tech to give away one of these units. I believe it was the 8 inch version. This is a 10 inch. I'm giving away an 8 inch version. All you have to do to enter the contest is just follow. Uh, my channel subscribe to it and then leave a comment box down below uh, Let me know what you like about you shouldn't what you didn't like about it or just just anything in general And then uh, you know this contest will run for about a week from the day that this video drop So please take a look at the description box down below for more information on the giveaway Other than that, I hope you guys have a good week and I hope you guys enjoy this little review uh, Please stay tuned and subscribe for more future content. Thank you. Have a good one